All right, guys. So today we're making chili. Um, your ingredients are gonna be like a, about a pound of ground beef. I got bat wings. Sorry, I'll wash my hands after now. But anyways, um, about a pound of ground beef. Um, two spicy Ginelli sausages or more if you have them. I only have two, and I didn't think to buy more. One green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, one orange, one yellow, one Sonero pepper, um, a can of kidney beans, a can of black beans. Uh, two stewed tomato sauce or seasoned tomato sauce for chili or whatever pitted diced tomatoes two cans of those too so those are the ingredients I'll have them on the screen maybe uh, depending if I get lazy or not so basically just cut up your stuff we're going to do the pepper first uh, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick I'm going to be using this knife the entire time no, I'm just kidding but that is my little neck knife If you guys want some knife reviews, just let me know. I have tons of knives and I can give you reviews on a bunch of them. Anyways, put the goddamn sticker off first. And if you're wondering what that is, uh, why the pepper looks fucked is because I got a new V slicer mandolin type of thing, but I'm too lazy to read directions. Figure out how to use it. Now for this narrow pepper, it's a hot motherfucker, so you're not going to want to use the seeds in that. For the bell peppers, it really doesn't matter if there's a seed or two or whatever. All the seeds you want in there, it's not going to hurt anything. Those aren't. You know, these are zero on the Scoville scale. They create no heat whatsoever. So that's okay if these are, you get seeds in here with these. But you just basically just want to dice these up. Um... I'm gonna slice them first. Get all the seeds off. I'm gonna get rid of all that white nasty part, even though it's not really gonna hurt nothing. I just don't like it in there. And then again, if it's a hot pepper though, you don't want that white membrane stuff because that's the pith, I think, or something. I forgot what the term of it is, but that's also where all the heat is. Those, that part in the seeds, so. And, and a sweet bell pepper, honestly, like I said, the white membrane-y part, nothing to worry about, but in a hot pepper, that's where all the heat is in that part and the seeds. So you want to get those out using a hot pepper. But... Like I said, like 15 times. These are bell peppers. You don't got to worry about that. So once I got them all um, cleaned up, which I'm not really going to do a super good job at, because again, these don't really matter. Not, not a big deal. I'm just going to kind of bunch them up like this. Just take my knife and just... Remember to slice like this. Hold the knife like that. And you just want a bunch of chunks like that, and then when you're done, just put them in your thing and just do the rest for the peppers. So, I'm going to do the rest of the bell peppers, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so, sorry about this, hold on a minute. What the fuck, I got like one small glove and one big glove on, what the fuck. Annoying. Now if you're wondering why I'm putting gloves on, it's because, you know, with hot peppers, you shouldn't really handle them. I mean, you can touch the outside and be fine, more than likely, but inside of it, when you're actually cutting it, you don't want to do it. But I got all my nice bell peppers all chopped. I think I remember, I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but you need one onion, too. Which I'll chop after this. But, continuing with the peppers. There he is. This little son of a bitch is hot, though. So for this one, I'm just going to take my little paring knife. Just cut the end off, and in there, that starry part is where all the heat is. And I'm gonna cut it like this. Okay. I'm gonna try to just cut that inner bit out. Mm. 
Now what I'm gonna do though is cut only half of this, put half of this in with this dummy in inner bit, and the rest I'm gonna deceive in the vein, I guess you would call it. Which, to be honest, having these goddamn gloves on is making it a little bit harder. Just take your time and be careful you don't cut yourself. And a sharp knife will help a lot. So there you go, there's your demembrane pepper. And I'm just gonna chop that up. throw that in the mix. I'm gonna do that with the rest, so I'll see you guys in a second. Hopefully I can stop this with the gloves on. All right guys, so we're back to the onion. We're gonna cut the ends. Take your herring knife and then just Slice like that, and then you just want to pull off as little as you can and get it started, and then just peel. So we got your onion done, you want to cut it in half um, this way, and then you're going to make slices like this. Try not to go all the way down, just barely, and if you do all the way down, just don't, you want to not to pull the pepper away, or the onion apart. When it gets there, you're going to want spinach to make it easier for yourself. And the reason you don't want to pull it apart like it's doing right there, because when you're done, now this little bit's fucked, so you're just going to move it because it won't work as well. When you're done, you're going to take it, and you're going to do cuts this way. And when you do that, you'll get these nice slices like that. See, they'll be in nice chunks and slices, and it'll just make it easier for you. Now you got all these nice slices or cubes or whatever. Chop. Still chop, not slice, sorry. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the onion. You don't need to watch me do the whole thing. And we'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so um I got all my vegetables chopped. Gotta get my sausage ready. And to do that, I'm just gonna take them. I don't know, they're kinda looking fucky. Well, I guess they're fine. They were frozen. And I'm just going to slit it like this. And just take the... <laughs> it's really gross, but let me get a paper plate. And I'm just going to kind of get all the meat out away from the casing. I almost peel the meat away from the casing because, you know, the casing... When you chop it up and try to cook it, it doesn't cook very good. You get like weird bits. If you do it like this, it'll be a little better. Smells okay. It just looks funny because it's been in the fridge or the freezer for a while and it's been sitting on like this um 
that thing, so it kind of looks funny. That's all. That's fine, though. Now, you should probably use more than just two of these sausages, but it's all I had. And I totally didn't think, oh, shit, I should buy more when I went to the store earlier. But you just want to break this up into little chunks, pieces. You need to mix that in, like, again, with a pound of ground beef. You can also use ground sirloin. That would probably even be even better. But I didn't buy it because my mom probably would have bitched if I spent too much money. I mean, I only spent $35 total, but yeah, either way. So there's your sausage. It looks really nasty. But it'll taste good, don't worry. So if you're done with your knife, for now, just wash my hands. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I got all my stuff chopped, I got my cans open, I got my meat ready. Um, first thing you want to do is brown the vegetables a bit. Um, yeah, we're going to do those first. So you just want to add just a, just a tiny bit of oil because the meat's going to have enough oil in it. And the reason I brown the vegetables, vegetables first is because those are going to burn faster than if you do the meat. You don't want the meat to cook all the way when you brown it. You just want it to, you know, brown. So just that's pretty much all the oil you need. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Uh, I have it on medium high heat and I'm gonna let the pan heat up for my vegetables in. So I'll see you guys in about a minute or two. Alright guys, so I got my oil heated up. Now time to throw in all the vegetables. And I'm just gonna keep moving these around for a bit and get them all nice and cooked a bit. Cause you don't, you know, you don't really want to cook this stuff all the way right now because you're gonna leave it cooking in the pot and let it, you know, simmer for a bit. Um, so yeah. Now for the vegetables, you want to add a nice, kind of a decent pinch of salt. Just don't do too much because we're gonna add a little bit more later. But big healthy pinch because you want to suck out the water. Yeah, that should be enough. Again, just don't overdo it. Be careful with that. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, so for more lube and flavor, I'm going to add in a big knob of butter. About that much. And that will just be like more, you know, oil-ish stuff. It will also add a good flavor. And that's just to the vegetables. Also, I'm going to crank the heat up to high. One problem I always have is this burner's kind of fucked. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the fan. Let me turn that off, I'm sorry. I hope you guys could have heard me that whole time. I'll be really mad if you can't hear me. And all you can hear is the dumbass fan. I didn't even think of that, putting you guys there. Well, if you didn't hear me earlier, what I said is put your vegetables in first on medium to high heat. Um, add about the bit of oil I showed you. Add some butter and add a nice pinch of salt. And the salt is because you want it to, um, you know, just pull the moisture out of the onions to make them crispy. But again, you don't want to overcook this stuff at this point in time because, um, it's because you're going to make this like a stew later. Okay, guys. I'm kind of yelling at you right now because I have this fan here going so you can see me without the smoke. I'm going to actually turn this one on low. Well, 
So hopefully you can hear me. Anyways, my vegetables been uh, going away for a little bit now. They should be nice and, um, you know, where I want them. Just get a nice bit of cookiness to them. So, for that you're going to add your meat, which will be your sausage. your ground beef. And just, you know, brown that nice and good. I'm gonna say it's gonna about take three to four minutes to brown this nice, so I'll see you guys then. All right guys, so my meat is pretty much brown. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> I feel stupid screaming at the camera. So, eh, fuck, I don't feel much. I'm too lazy. Um, I I'll give like a general measurement that you guys can use though. So we're gonna add a good bit of garlic powder because I really like garlic. Sorry, you guys really can't see how much I'm using just because if I do that, the fan will blow it. But a big, big lot of garlic powder, a bunch of chili powder. I mean, after all, this is chili. Basically, whatever that was in there. So, for the garlic powder, I'd best say about a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of, or a tablespoon of chili powder, um, about a teaspoon of curry powder. Half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Um, half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of cayenne. You don't want to put too much of that in there because you already have the, uh, the pepper in there. A little bit of ground coriander. Of onion powder. For the coriander, I say about a fourth of a teaspoon or a fourth of a tablespoon. I mean, um, about a tablespoon of ground cumin, maybe two, because cumin is one of the key, key flavors in chili. A little bit of that Cajun seasoning. Because I have it, just a tiny bit of this chili pepper sauce from uh, Trader Joe's because it tastes just like chili should taste. A little bit of that. And then mix that in real nice. a tiny bit of it. Get a bit of the meat. It's pretty good. Alright. Next thing you want to do is add all your beans and tomato sauces and all that horse shit. Really honestly doesn't matter. You can probably all the juice in there. Pour the whole entire thing of it in there. Now with my red beans, here's my black beans. Here goes my two cans of diced pitted tomatoes. And my two cans of chili paste or sauce. Now honestly I probably could use more meat than I used. I 
probably should have used more meat than I used, but I didn't make, plan on making this much until now. And then just give that a nice stir. Yeah, this is on high heat right now. We're gonna turn that down in a minute. Now I'm gonna add a tiny bit more of all of my seasonings just because I like the season a lot because it makes a lot of flavor. So I don't remember if I did salt earlier, but a nice pinch of salt, culture. A little bit more of the Trader Joe's hot sauce. And basically I'm just gonna run through the seasonings again, but just put a tiny bit more of each one so you don't need to watch this. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, I'm gonna turn this down to low to medium low and let this simmer for about 25 minutes and then I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it in 10 minutes to be honest but we're gonna I'm gonna guess it's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook all the way as much as I want it to. And I'm gonna try it then so until then see you in a bit. Okay guys so the timer just went off about a minute ago. It's been 15 minutes. I'm actually going to let this cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. It's not done yet. It's, it's pretty much where I want it, but basically just, you know, when you, your timer goes off, a little bit chunk of sausage. But you want to taste it and just make sure it's okay, and if it needs any more seasonings, add it. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to send it for another about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's give this a check. Damn, I'm not going to just cook in it. Um, oops, fuck. Gonna give it a stir just to make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom. And I'm actually gonna cook this for another about 10. Alright, guys, so I got my chili in the bowl. I put some cheese at the bottom. I'm gonna take a nice little pinch of cheese and put it at the top. Now I'm doing this all pretty for fit presentation because I'm going to take a picture of this for the thumbnail. But normally I would just throw a glob of cheese in there and be done with it. And normally I'd also put sour cream, but my fucking idiot ass forgot to get it. Which makes me very angry. And you got to have Fritos with your chili. And again, normally I would just crush these up in all honesty. But since I'm taking a picture of this for the thumbnail... I'm gonna have it look all pretty. All right. So there you have it, guys. There's the chili, and I'll try it in just a second. I just gotta take a picture. All right, guys. Let's get a big scoop of this on the chip. Normally, I'd eat this with a spoon too, but we'll do it with the chip this time. It's basically the same thing. I'm really pissed that I don't have sour cream because that makes it even better, but whatever. Mm. <laughs> Fuck, I'm a good cook. Woo. All right. Temperature-wise, it's not, it's not too spicy. It's actually really not enough, not spicy enough for me. I honestly would make it hotter, but since I plan on giving something to my neighbor mustache, that's what I call him because he's had the same mustache since he was 16 and he's 53 today, or now, something like that. 52, 53 around there. I didn't make it too hot, and my mother doesn't like really hot stuff either, but it's just a nice little tingle. But yeah. Alright, guys. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment more shit for me to cook. And by the way, I would add a little bit more meat than I did. Because uh, it's not as meaty as I don't really like it. That's what she said. But, um, yeah. So I would add a bit more ground beef to it. Maybe a bit more sausage. But that's all I had at the time. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Alright. See you guys later.